wanted to show you how to export your iMovie to iDVD at a high quality format. Um, first what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that at the beginning once you open iMovie that you've selected the movie that you're interested in exporting. And then what you do is um, you're going to make sure that everything is um, you know updated to where you want it and then you're going to go to share and then export using QuickTime and the export option that you want to make sure that you use is movie to Apple TV um, you can see the extension here it says M4V on it so that's how you know that you have the correct one so then what you're going to do is you're going to give it a, a name that um, is recognizable on the desktop or wherever you would prefer to save it and again take note of the um, the file extension um, another thing that you just want to see um, I know that you wanted to do an option for the iPhone and for the iPad so they do have an option here that would export um, it to size um, Keep in mind, I am using an older version of iMovie, so the newer version may have one that will actually optimize for the iPhone. But if not, um, a great option for the iPad and for the iMovie is QuickTime movies. They play those great. So um, as far as the actual television is concerned, the version that we've been using um, is the movie to Apple TV. So um, then after that, you're going to press save. So now it's exporting the project. So it should just be just a second. And while that's going, I'm going to fire up iDVD. Hello, so now our movie has finished exporting, so now we're ready to import it into iDVD. What we're going to do now is on um, the dock, I'm going to click iDVD, and the window is going to pop up with it, the menu. We are going to open an existing project unless you wanted to create another um, iDVD um, menu. So we're going to open an existing project, um, and it should be on your desktop. You'll know that you've selected the correct file, um, DV, iDVD file, because it'll end in DVD PROJ. And then you're just going to click on that, and the menu that I created while it was over there should come up. Um, and so it should be all ready to go. Um, let me know if for some reason you're unable to access that. So here we go. We come up with this screen. The last and final step is we need to make sure that we've gotten rid of um, any of the old files that were on there. So you can go ahead and click through and um, delete. And then after that, you're going to go on your desktop and... You should see the M4V file that we created and you're just going to click and drag that over on there and the file name will come up. You might just want to change it to play movie, play movie and then we're going to click off so it's no longer selected. Uh, we can go ahead and test it by pressing, let me go back to do that a little slower. Um, you're going to just go ahead here to actually test out the DVD and then of course you can go ahead and play the movie. Once you've seen that it's at the quality that you want it to be at, um, and it should pretty much, um, you should be able to see, um, after that you're just going to play it through and then once you, you know, you can play it as long as you would like, you can stop it. And now you are ready to burn. So at this point, you're going to put in the disk and then burn the iDVD project. And then it'll get started. You just need to put in a DVD. Okay. Well, let me know if you have any questions. And I will talk to you later.